From the time I was a young child, my family would stargaze with me. We would go out into our backyard in Pennsylvania, put down a blanket, lay on the grass, and look up at the night sky. We would do this in all seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring. I believe there are many benefits to stargazing. As an occupational therapist, I think stargazing helps to promote your visual scanning ability, your visual perception, your focus, your attention to detail, your ability to recognize patterns, and your ability to attend to a task for a long period of time. If you want to see a shooting star, you have to look, you have to look for a long period of time and keep your gaze focused. You have to scan along the night sky. Scanning is important for so many tasks in our life. And even just scanning for planes is a good opportunity to build that skill. If you live in a city, it is hard to stargaze and is an opportunity that is somewhat lost. I found when I lived in Buffalo, New York, going to darkened parks where there was tree coverage allowed for a dark window to open to the night sky. Now that I live in Idaho, that is such an easy advantage that I don't take. If you step away from the city, the sky is full. It is hard to stargaze when it's cloudy, but on a clear night, it is a very educational task. I would recommend stargazing for any children that are struggling with reading or other visual perceptual problems. It is also a good social time to bond with your family, even if it's just one other person. That shared visual experience connects you. On the night of my wedding, my wife, my brothers, my cousins, my aunts and uncles and family all gathered under the stars in Montana, and we just looked up. Although it was cold, it was one of the most beautiful experiences of the night. The coldness sharpened both our attention, visual field, and the cl clarity of the sky. I believe if you're stressed or anxious, staring up at the sky, looking for shooting stars, and just observing the stars that are there will help to reduce that. It'll bring you into yourself, into your body, into your mind, into your visual field, and then it'll allow you to become in the present If a child is struggling with attention deficit or anxiety or stress, this could be a good opportunity to share with them. It's something you have to invest in. It takes time, but it will bring you together as a family. I hope you enjoy some time stargazing and are able to find some stars no matter where you are. Try to find that dark spot and look up at the sky.